are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Happy spring, Weha! Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tom Hickey. I'm from West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, and hashtag Weha Events. Uh, so glad that all of you are able to join us from home. I'm glad that I'm able to be here today. When we go around uh, our circle of, of participants today at Weha Mag, you're going to see those who have been away in Florida because they have white blouses <laughs> on or shirts on and they're tan. Uh, but the rest of us have been here uh, in West Hartford with all the rest of you. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we have so much to talk about today. I hope we don't speak too quickly. But before we start getting into all of our details, I thought it, as usual and customary, we'll just go around the table, uh, around the chairs, and we'll allow uh, each of us individually to introduce ourselves. And we'll start to your left, my right, with Ryan. Hello, my name is Ryan Keating with the Keating Insurance Agency. And I have been the founder of Flow with the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce, also known as the Future Leaders of West Hartford. And we'll be talking on that today. So, hi, I'm Ronnie Newton, and I'm the managing editor of Weha.com. And um, I'm not wearing a white blouse, Tom. It's, uh, it's yellow and flowered, uh, but I have. Yeah, been it's still away. Caribbean. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, we won't I, go there. I, I was down in the Caribbean for for a week, and uh, it was wonderful to be away and beat the snow in West Hartford. Yeah, for sure. I already said hello. <laughs> okay, I am Barbara Lerner. I am the executive director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm really sorry Tom is feeling so bad that some <laughs> of us went away. <laughs> but we're all glad to be back in West Hartford. There you right go, now. absolutely. <laughs> and sporting a new do. Come on, let's and embarrass do, Barbara. Right? There yeah, we go. <laughs> <laughs> Envy is a great motivator. <laughs> I'm Hank Cleary, and I'm here in an unofficial capacity as representing the Elmwood Business Association. And as I said, as we're getting settled, I'm Staying at home, but looking forward to the first daffodil in Elmwood. Yes. Pretty soon. Absolutely. For sure. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Karen Fillion, and um, I'm a member of the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. And um, I also am employed by Edens, and we own and manage uh, shopping centers, uh, two of which in West Hartford at Bishop's Corner. And um, this is my first time here. Great. I'm glad to have you. Hi, my name is Dylan Carnero, and uh, I work. For Mr. Hickey as an intern right now, and um, Mr. Hickey, there goes the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm used to saying it like that. Mr. Hickey, sir. And, and, I, and I also go to Kobe Sawyer College up in New London, New Hampshire. Right, intern extraordinary. Yeah. Right there, you go, Dylan. Yes. Take it. That's great. All right, so I thought what we would do, Ryan, not to put you on the spot, but before we forget, uh, Johnny and Tracy from Park Road uh, weren't able to uh, join us today uh, uh, due to their crazy schedules. Um, so we do have an update uh, from them that we'd love to share with okay. everyone. Okay, so I'm going to have to look Park at my Road. phone. Oh, okay. Park and I'm actually going to have to make this a little bigger so I can so I can read it. <laughs> but anyway, this so this is a message from the Park Road Association um, regarding new things for this spring. So. Um, Johnny Pandera said Effie's has a new menu out, including several new items. Homemade falafel, veggie wraps are among some of the new items. Um, efforts are being made to rejuvenate the parade, and there's a need for new volunteers to get involved. And there are subcommittees, and there's um, a search for new ways to fundraise and kind of reinvent the Park Road Parade, which has been in existence for 15 time. years yeah, or so, right. something like that. Um, the Playhouse on Park um, will be having the annual Stop Time Dance Theater show through April 9th, um, so you might be able to catch the end of this by the time this airs. Um, there are also spring theater classes for youth um, from kindergarten through grade 8, and classes for adults also belong, begin in April. And the endearing play 
last train to Nybrock opens at the end of April. Um, there's also um, Zest 280, which recently reopened as a mission-based restaurant at 280 Park Road. Um, the owner, Louis Lista, who's also the owner of the Pond House, is turning 60 and he's raising, trying to raise $60,000 um, for community partners in action um, culinary training program, which is the um, program that Zest 280 is now part of. And um, wow. finally, jazz music um, is every other Tuesday at the Prospect. I believe it's the first and third Tuesday of the month. And then Mondays at AC Peterson's, AC, AC Peterson's, <laughs> there is Main Stage <laughs> Monday. Um, that's actually the first and third Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. at AC Peterson's, where they recently had a great hit um, offer of 64 cent ice cream day. So. Wow, I missed that's that. The, that's the report. <laughs> I, I missed good. it too. That's the, that's the Park Road report. Fantastic. Uh, so everyone, uh, head down to Park Road if you need more details and more information. As always, uh, Ronnie will have it on weha.com for your convenience. Lots of other business buys too. Absolutely. I'm going to hold that thought for one second. Okay. Uh, we have a brand. We're really, really, really excited to have uh, all of our guests this evening, but we like it when new people come too. So I thought we would get the two new guests um, uh, talking to you and filling you in a little bit more on themselves and what they do. Uh, so it's not all about this side of, of, the, uh, of the room. Uh, Karen, I'd love to move over to you uh, and have you speak, first of all, um, about Eden's, because I don't think that people in West Hartford understand what you own, uh, you know, or where you are, uh, so we, we'd love to hear more. So Eden's is probably one of the biggest shopping center um, owners and managers that you've never heard of. Um, Eden's uh, just celebrated 50 years in business mm -hmm. and uh, started with um, Eden's, a grocery store, and 95% uh, of our uh, strip um, malls are grocery store anchored. And um, we are from Boston, we're located from Boston down to Miami, and also we have a portfolio recently acquired um, in Texas. Oh. And um, we, um, the Edens um, promotes uh, people to come to the centers, to stay, to linger. Um, for instance, at, at Bishop's Corner, we have the patio, mm -hmm. and we provide tables and umbrellas and uh, places for uh, people to go and just hang out. Uh, we do have um, charging stations for um, cars there and uh, bike racks. I forgot racks. about that. That's right. Mm -hmm. near, uh, near Maximum near Beverage, Near Maximum right? Beverage yeah, and Noodles. I forgot about that. But yeah. maybe you can That's let right. people know what area of Bishop's Corner is Eden's because it's oh, Marshall's right. and... So it's Marshall's and uh, Coma. So that's actually known where uh, Marshall's is, is actually Bishop's uh, Corner Shopping Center, and where Coma and uh, Orange Theory Fitness is Bishop's Corner West. And well, look at that. You learned oh, something so that's new. Not, that's <laughs> not just one building. No, it's two okay. separate shopping centers. It's actually um, two separate entities. Oh, wow. And mm. uh, then also Crossroads Plaza at 740 North Main Street, and that is where Big Y is. Which and is diagonally across the street correct. at that four mm -hmm. major intersection, mm -hmm. route, route 44 and Main Street. Correct. Right? That yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. And um, so I've been with Eden's uh, just about three years and um, I've really enjoyed um, working uh, oh, yes. for Eden's and it's very exciting. We, Eden's also uh, loves to have uh, their employees get involved in with the town and with the community. Well, and, and I will say, if it wasn't for Karen, uh, anyone who came to the Taste of Bishop's Corner, uh, it was hosted uh, by Karen and Eden's, uh, and it would not have been in the heart of Bishop's Corner if it wasn't, it will embarrass you if it wasn't yeah. for you. Well, <laughs> so. we're, we're just happy, happy to help, just Great. happy to help. Excellent. And um, I'm also um, a member of the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Okay. And, and you're um, on the board, I And I've yeah. recently yeah. Um, been asked to participate on the executive board. Okay. And um, so I'm involved in the arts at Bishop's Corner and um, help uh, promote and, uh, the um, poetry on the patio, which we host mm -hmm. out on the patio uh, between Blue Plate Kitchen and Maximum Beverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, those events are held in the summer um, on the last Thursday of the month, okay. uh, typically. And, and I don't like quite have the schedule. The farmer's market mm -hmm. um, is being held over in the parking lot at Crown Market and um, Starbucks. Mm -hmm. And yes, that will be coming back in April, April to October. Mm -hmm. 
And Eden's also um, allows uh, the BCNA to store all of the um, parking signs and, and uh, things associated with the farmer's market in our space, uh, empty space over it. Right. Um, and for those who don't know, BCNA is Bishop's, Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Right. And they meet on a every other month basis? Uh, every other month now, and then the uh, executive board meets once a month. Okay. And uh, it's just a great group to, uh, to be associated with. And anyone can attend, correct? Anyone can attend. You don't have to be a business owner. You no. can uh, just be a member of the community. Um, and they offer a lot of uh, different kinds of programs, informative uh, programs as to what's going on in the community. You know, it's interesting. The Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association has always right. been a little different than the other business associations. Mm -hmm. Although all of the business associations in town are now asking for neighbors to become more involved and to come to their meetings, each one of the five associations meets either on a bi-monthly or a monthly basis. So, but Bishop's Corner was the first one to really put neighborhood into the title of the, their association. Well, and, and um, Bishop's Corner Shopping Center is so close to our residential neighbors um, that we're very cognizant of you know them being there and we uh, really like to have a very good relationship with them and Eden's does have a very good relationship with all of the bordering neighbors. That's great. So, yeah. so, so, so Hank, Hi. tell us about you. <laughs> well it's a good segue because I was restraining myself because as I mentioned uh, when I introduced that uh, I don't come in an official capacity from the Elmwood Business Association although I do participate in some of the activities but I really kind of represent Elmwood as a neighborhood, perhaps, mm -hmm. and, and with a something of a business background. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I just, you know, obviously in anticipation of this visit, I was thinking, well, what's, what's kind of new around Elmwood? And there's always something new around Elmwood. Most noticeably, and I'm a little embarrassed, I, I asked the technician when we were getting set up if this microphone picked up aromas. Because oh, before I came over, food, huh? came over here, I had a little leftover Elmwood pizza from last <laughs> night. I didn't want to be offensive, but we enjoyed the St. Patrick's Day corned beef dinner at the Fernwood. And uh, so it's, there's always something I see uh, a lot of restaurant movement and, and restaurants stay. And they're, uh, rarely are they glitzy. They're kind of functional on various levels. I think the most extreme, the most accessible from where I am in Elmwood is that little modest Vietnam restaurant. Oh. Uh, it's in a, 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 a very, very next subtle to storefront right? yeah, yeah. next to Goldberg's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd hardly yeah. notice it. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell you how often my travels through Hartford County, greater Hartford area, people say, you're near the Vietnam restaurant. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and of course, the big marquee value. We need to get them to the of, taste of Elmwood. <laughs> part of the marquee that. value yeah. is, is tapas. People come from all over and go to tapas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Pepe's Pizza. And, yeah. and Pepe's Pizza. And you know, as a business guy, I thought when I saw Pepe's coming in, is that going to hurt Elmwood Pizza mm -hmm. right next door? Mm -hmm. Not a stroke. They didn't, they didn't miss a note mm -hmm. because it's two entirely different approaches. Pepe's more of a destination kind of situation. And, and Elmwood to home, I was. Uh, also, it's nice to have the the, the mention of the springtime and the uh, yeah, so. the little preparations that so many of you have been fortunate to have. Well, speaking have, of spring, Golf uh, Tech just opened next. Yeah, right, right, I was going to add that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that can make some creaky shoulders actually feel a little. Well, they said things are being going great at Golf Tech. You know, they, great. They've been so busy already. They just had their grand opening on March 11th and 12th, and and. I ran into the owners, um, and, and they said they, they're just so excited about the reception that the, the business is getting already. And actually, I want to add, talking about springtime, both Elmwood and um, Bishop's Corner are having flowers mm -hmm. oh, installed. Yes. So the Knox Foundation yeah. um, is providing these big flower baskets. They're being sponsored by the different businesses um, in the community. And Elma did it last year for yeah. the first time, and, and this year Bishop's yes. Corner is also participating. And I think it's Mr. Hilborn. It is, sure. Mr. Hilborn. it is Mr. Hilborn. Who, 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 who kind of facilitated that. that relationship. And we, again, we need to get him on the show too, right? We should, he's the, you know, he's the king uh, of that whole project. He really spearheaded yeah. the whole thing and did yeah. an incredible mm -hmm. job last year on very short notice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's such a tremendous amount of work. You have to go door to door and talk to every single oh, yeah. business and mm -hmm. explain how important it is. And um, he really lined New Britain Avenue with uh, flower pots. Last and I'll year. be the first to admit, you know, when you when you hear about it, at first I thought to myself, eh, you know, they were magnificent they were. flowers. <laughs> they were just yeah. they were well, really unbelievable. And they changed them to fall or something, right? Yeah, and so I really I, I uh, actually went around this morning, 
and check just to make sure I had the street names right. But this is a Ronnie Newton scoop, and that would be that the first crocuses uh, check out uh, Federal Street at Sampson. Okay. <laughs> and a little later in the spring, great. the Bank of Tulips is on Vine Hill near Mayflower, conveniently there located across from St. Bridget's. No, oh, but oh, oh. I've okay. been watching I'll, I'll and anticipating. And followed by a nice wildflower display later in the summer, so stay tuned. Excellent. I will wow. keep my eyes posted. I, I, I would love to talk a little bit about the chamber and then that would bring into, right into to Ryan, Ryan and Flo. So um, the chamber has a big luncheon coming up, the Economic Development mm -hmm. Luncheon, and Mark McGovern, the Director of Community Services for the town, does a PowerPoint. And Ronnie probably knows everything he's going to say before he says it, <laughs> but it's he about... He consults me. And, and <laughs> Do you know what he doesn't know? I agree to wait on a scoop until after that presentation. So April 27th, um, please join us at this luncheon. It is typically a sold-out event, and Mark does a, a terrific job on his PowerPoint. Is that a at Wampanoag? It's at Wampanoag okay. Country Club again this year. Um, the AM Connections meetings, the Chamber has a networking group that meets the first and third Friday of every month at 7.30 a.m. at the Noah Webster Library. The group has grown so tremendously. We now have between 60 and 70 attendees, um, and there's always a new group of people coming through to this meeting. Um, it is uh, probably Amazing. one of the most high energy mm. groups that we do, especially at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> exactly. um, the Chamber is also putting out a directory this year. Mm -hmm. It's something we haven't done. You know, everybody's on the internet and they, our website is great, but we keep being asked by real estate agents, people coming through town for uh, something that they can take away. So we are doing a printed directory okay. this year that will be ready by our annual meeting, which is the end of June. And our health and wellness committee has a series of three breakfasts. The first one uh, was yeah. in yes was in March. Second yeah. one will be the end of April. Third one will be the end of May. They are all at, at Atria Senior Living. You can go to our website. It's really all about um, how to activate a health plan and how to keep yourself healthy and well. Mm -hmm. And the chamber um, has put together a young professionals group. Something we'd want to do for a while. And Ryan came along at the perfect time who had experience in doing a group like this. So I'm going to turn Flo over to Ryan. R Ryan made the mistake of, of showing up at the when he got back into town at the first Best of West oh, Hartford. Oh, right. That's when I was, first met and, you. And, and, we all met, and we all met that <laughs> night. And then we had a, and then we, I think you actually said, you know, I keep hearing about this committee. How do I get involved in this committee? And, you know, ever since then, we haven't left you alone. Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> West Hartford's a great town. I grew up here and I left and I find myself back. Uh, the Best of West Hartford event was a lot of fun. For the second year doing it, um, I was very impressed and I wanted to be involved. And then with the Chamber, seeing what was going on in some of the surrounding Chambers of Commerce around Connecticut, West Hartford being what we are, there was definitely a need to put together a young professionals group, Future Leaders of West Hartford is what FLO stands for. And we've had a great amount of individuals who have been dedicating their time to helping get this group to where we are. The first event we had as a social event was back in early March mm -hmm. and at Noble and Company in West Hartford. Mm -hmm. And April 27th is when we're gonna be having our next event at Prospect Cafe. So you could have lunch with us and then cocktails. Absolutely. Ooh, hey, there you because go. Because economic development is yeah. lunch on the 27th, and it's my birthday. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe you can even I'll golf come. in between, too. Right? Is that I would bro? love that. Right, yeah, I'll try. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wampanoag, Wampanoag. Oh, oh yeah, the meeting so, at Wampanoag. It, it, the, the luncheon's at Wampanoag, but our golf tournament this year is at Tumbleberg. Okay. So, but um, the Young Professionals Group has grown so quickly. I mean, the first event, we had to cut it off at 80, but there were 113 people registered for it. Wow. wow. So, so wow. I mean, so we really knew there was this need. That's it was exciting. just getting this group up and running that um, took us a little bit of time. And Ryan, so. this is something that you've, you've been involved in other professional groups elsewhere. Correct. When I was in Dallas, we had the Association for Corporate Growth, which is a nationwide networking business development group. And there's about 700, I like to say uh, seasoned professionals mm -hmm. is a politically correct term for <laughs> calling someone old. For people like <laughs> 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 It's 
Or, or, or you just call him Mr. Hickey. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> The, the not so young professional, as our target market is really that 21 to 40 year old individual, people like Dylan just get in college, out of college, mm -hmm. as well as West Hartford has a large group of people that are in their young 30s moving here to raise families. And we want to give people an opportunity to get involved in West Hartford, give back to West Hartford. Mm -hmm. um, but in Dallas, yes, we, uh, they had been an established entity in Dallas for almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. and really wanted to connect with the younger crowd and similar thing I just moved to Dallas I went to one of my first events and I'm like man everyone's wearing a suit and a tie here I want to <laughs> get involved with these guys <laughs> and, um, next thing you know there was people talking about starting a professional group and I just was like I'll, I'll do what I can and next thing you know I was running it and we grew to 200 members in three years. Well, Ryan awesome. has a great committee um, I guess the last meeting you um, picked committee chairs, and okay. I mean, it's really going to be run kind of like the chamber. Hmm. Um, and they I think they're basing a lot of um, their planning on the way we've done things for years. Because yeah. instead of reinventing the wheel, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's really easy to just look at what we've done mm -hmm. and just translate it sure. to the new group. Well, and Can you, you share with us any of those individuals, or is that? Uh, uh, Yes. Um, <laughs> if I didn't put you on the spot, any members? <laughs> yeah. If, uh, I mean, we've had Kaylin McBee, who she's the owner of Balance Massage Therapy. She actually is the one who thought of the name Flo. Mm -hmm. When we were due, we had probably about 20 different names that people had come up with. And I remember Kaylin thought of Flo. Mm -hmm. She thought of a few others. And um, Dave Sousa with Golf Tech is involved. We have. Lyle Rotondo from Berkshire Hathaway. No, Morgan. Morgan, Morgan Hilliard, Hilliard, of course, is the Morgan is, Evans, uh, yes. assistant associate director for the Chamber of Commerce. Um, Kristen Gorski <laughs> with the town of West Hartford is very involved. She's been very influential and was involved mm -hmm. with another Chamber of Commerce and helping them get a young professional group going as well. Tony Sisti has been very active in helping just be a guiding mm -hmm. figure for a lot of us, really bringing the You've let me come to meetings, too. Uh, Ronnie, yes. Tony, Ronnie, yeah. Yeah. Tony and I and Barbara when Barbara's and there. And Chip Janiszewski. I mean, so right. there are a few people yeah. in the group people. who are older than 40. <laughs> but, um, but, but it doesn't necessarily have to be under 40. Mm. I mean, it's a group of uh, young professionals who are looking to make connections, advance their careers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need someone a little older well, in the I group. I mean, for Hank, you know, Hank's a, he can be a future leader. Yes, you no, can. Young at heart. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, we've, I've been fortunate, my family's known Hank for a long time, and uh, he's been an independent marketer. Mm -hmm. But now it sounds like you got a new passion for flowers. <laughs> so you can be leading the new. Is there is there a, 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 a stay where you're planted? <laughs> like, yeah. like that. Grow where you're planted. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Wonderful. Uh, I would love to, while we're talking about young professionals, uh, it's time to embarrass Dylan again. <laughs> so, exactly. So. Thank you, Mr. Hickey. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hickey. So, uh, so, uh, yeah. Dylan, um, I'll let you chat a little bit about what you do at, at Colby, but um, uh, contacted um, West Hartford Magazine, we had .com, uh, um, spring semester, whatever it was last year, yeah, saying, freshman I'm year. a freshman year, yeah. I'm going to be home uh, during the summer. I'm uh, I love photography uh, and graphic arts, and I'm not quite sure what it is that um, that we you know that I want to do. Um, so, like any good entrepreneur, we just sort of sucked him in <laughs> and gave him a million uh, different responsibilities, and said, "You'll figure out, you know, by the time you're done, what you like doing and what you don't like doing." And you've done it all. I mean, yeah. you've, you've been you've done sales and you've done special events. He, for all practical purposes, he ran the pop-up store <laughs> you know, that we had oh, uh, during right. Christmas. Uh, a because, little retail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little retail doesn't hurt. Oh, right. A little bit of everything, yeah. So um, so what? Um, what's life like at Colby? Now that uh, I mean, it's a pretty small school up in yeah. New Hampshire. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really want to go to a big school, so the small <laughs> school fit perfectly. Yeah. I mean, I like to snowboard and stuff, so being up north definitely helps with that. <laughs> And I actually did just your parents know that part? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, they told me I better not be going to school just to snowboard. But, <laughs> That's right. You know, it's only in the winter time. <laughs> That's funny. But um, I actually just switched my um, minor to business instead of photography. So I'm going graphic design with a minor in uh, business 
because of working at Weha, mm -hmm. because oh, he had me doing everything and ended up finding <laughs> out that business might help out a little bit more than photography. See how so. influential oh, you are? You, <laughs> do, you <laughs> take great photos. I still, do, yes, yeah, yeah, I, still, I still take photos, but I mean, for my future, definitely graphic design with business. I mean, that, that really says how important yeah. it is for um, a young person to do an internship summer. We yeah. had an intern this past summer who actually changed his minor, too, to marketing. Wow. Because after working on us with, at the chamber on our golf tournament, mm -hmm. he, he thought it was fascinating and something he might want to do in the future. So very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then to kind of butt in on a big part of what Flo is doing is getting involved with the high schools and there's already the youth to business that the chamber has but I really think we're going to be able to excel on that program and it works with middle schoolers and high schoolers just giving someone a mentor there once a week for like an hour or a class period a week um, and I think that would be a great yeah, way great. to isn't there something too, Barbara? Wasn't there a, uh, a scholarship from the chamber? Well, we've changed it. We, changed we, it okay. we were giving a scholarship. We are now going to be making a grant through the Foundation for West Hartford Public Schools. Oh. Believe it or not, it was difficult for us to find enough students to give our scholarship away to in West Hartford. Yeah. <laughs> so we were looking for a way to have a bigger bang mm -hmm. for, for the money. I mean, it's not an insignificant amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, it's $2,000. So it will go to a specific grant that a teacher can apply for. So maybe we can touch an entire class oh, wow, as awesome. opposed to one student over the course mm -hmm. of a year. Mm -hmm. And the teacher, because of budget cuts, mm -hmm. I, th that money is so important to teachers to be able to do those extra things that they can't do with their limited resources. So, yeah, And we haven't really announced that, so I guess I'm announcing it right <laughs> now. Because <laughs> our, our boys <laughs> this morning just, we oh, voted on it, and they thought it was a great idea. So. Excellent. Wonderful. And the only thing I would add for interns, too, I, I get a lot of flack in, um, in my office for this, but um, our interns really work. You know, this is, you know, I know there's a lot of internships out there where you, you know, shuffle papers or empty trash or whatever it is, but, you know, Dylan is doing a project or a job that somebody else would have had to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it really does give you the opportunity to to sink or swim. I'm seeing everything. everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well the, the editorial interns I've had every year, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the one I have this year, um, Jillian Hickson, who is going to be a junior at Villanova um, next year, who's a lifetime West Hartford resident, she said to me when I was interviewing her, well, you know, will I just be shadowing you all summer? I said, well, maybe for the first couple of days. <laughs> but no, then I'm going to be assigning you stories <laughs> and you're going to go out and write them and take Absolutely. photos and submit them. and. You know, the, I'll um, edit them afterwards, but advances I in technology have, have uh, made micromanagement a very, very uh, accessible phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And I think there are fewer and fewer opportunities. And my compliments to We Are Magazine, Tom, right? That uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Dylan. That uh, a, a young person coming into a business or a category of business from an internship basis really learns how to engage and, and uh, take some ownership in the operation of that business. I've always thought that the best first few days someone could spend working in a business would be to answer the phone. Yeah, great point, right. absolutely. Yeah, so, so. Uh, speaking of phones, sorry. Phones. As All we have are these phones. Yeah, <laughs> as, as usual, we're, we're running out of time. I, I just need to mention, because I put them on our tables, uh, it is that time of the year again. Uh, so uh, we're getting ready for the third annual Best of West Hartford. So the nominating process will start. Uh, which is usually uh, mid to late spring, and then the voting uh, process will take place, which is usually during the summer. Uh, so it's all starting all over again, and as I guess Ryan said earlier, uh, this time it's for the third uh, for the third year. So as soon as we have all of the dates uh, set, we'll share with you, uh, and we welcome, as always, all of West Hartford, all your family and friends, uh, to join us not only at the Best of West Hartford, but at all of our locations throughout West Hartford. Check out the screen, <laughs> you know, um, and all of our events. Uh, Tune in next time. We'll see you, which would be still spring, but it will, it will be sort be, of mid-spring. It, mid it'll be for the, the May show. The May so, show, yeah. absolutely. And thank right. you, everybody, for taking the time out to come today. Yeah, great Thanks. crowd. I appreciate it. Thank everything. you. Great to be here. Yeah, thank you. Nice.